will be talking about whatever I fucking want. I think it's clear that today is something that I've been dying to talk about in a very long time. So, recently, back on April 18th, 2023, this year, Matt Walsh got hacked. And when I saw this tweet he made about a certain someone, I thought, well, at least Matt Walsh is actually right for once. Because that certain someone does talk about how he wanted to be misogynistic to win. And we all know who that someone is. So it's not that much of a surprise. But of course, when I got on his Twitter account that day, he said this. He said, and I quote, my pronouns are that slash nigga. And you know, he's been consistent with his views of saying the n-word for a while now, especially when it comes to people who Matt Walsh defends have the same skin color, can say, can and will say it. Um, and it is again a decision that nobody, no one can logically or morally defend. You know, the idea that there's a that there's a word that cannot be uttered under any circumstance is completely insane. I would just like to say that it's not completely insane that you, Matt Walsh, cannot say the N-I-G-G-E-R word. It's completely common sense. And it is not something that there is no other word in the English language or any other language in existence that we have those kinds of rules for. Any other, there's, there's other words that are slurs. There are words that, are, that we would consider vulgarity and profanity. Um, and all kinds of words that I don't say on this show uh, because we try not to use profanity and vulgarity on the show. Um, words that I don't think you should use words that you shouldn't use around kids and so on. There's all kinds of words like this. Um, but there's no other word that we would say, well, under no circumstance at all can it even be uttered, even in, in, in the context of quoting somebody. Yeah. Listen, just because we have the First Amendment doesn't mean white people can't say it. It's not just a word because it's a racial slur. And a racial slur can offend and hurt people's feelings. Are you gonna then argue to me that I, as a black person, can't call you a cracker because that apparently is also a racial slur? That I can't utter, even though when I say cracker, I think of this, not this. And it's my first amendment right to use so-called profanity, aka swear words. Also, real talk. We don't think that any adult should use swear words around kids, but truthfully, kids are able to swear. You might ask, how do I know? Well, the first swear word I ever heard from my little brother in 2003 was the word stupid. No, I'm not kidding. He did say it. But is stupid a racial slur? Nope. The n-word is. Point is, kids back then and especially today are able to develop swear words in their vocabulary as they grow as they grow grow up older from being a big kid to a teenager and once you become a teenager you can de 
develop more swear words in your vocabulary so you can't prevent children from saying swear words because swearing and racial words is not the same. And as for quoting someone who did say it, yes, back then, Joe Biden, formerly a Democrat senator, said that racial word only because he was quoting someone else who told black man this. That doesn't technically mean Joe Biden was racist because Biden didn't call a black person that word. He got permission from a black person back then to use the N-word in context. And as they say, context matters. And certainly there's no other word where we would say, well, judging on your skin pigment, if it's this shade, you can't say it at all under any circumstance. But if it's a little bit of a darker shade, then say it all the time and it's totally fine. So there's no context where it can be said over here. There is no context where it can't be said over here. And we are going to decide that based on how dark your skin is. Yes, Matt Walsh, if your white skin face isn't able to say anything only in a context by explaining what you're saying and moreover, just to use that word as an insult instead, because you of all people prefer to call someone a, a N-word, then judging by your pasty skin, which has years of an ancestral history behind that word that was used towards black people, which your ancestors made them as slaves back in the 1800s, then you most definitely wouldn't and shouldn't say it. Makes no sense, and I think we all are aware of that. Actually, it does make sense because for one, black people are the only ones cool enough to say a slang version of the N-word. So please, white people who would agree with Matt Walsh, save your petty explanation of the if white people can't say the N-word, then black people can't say the N-word argument. Because as it has been mentioned on the internet before, black people have been reclaiming that word as a term of endearment for many decades. That's why certain black street gangs back in the 1970s and 1980s reclaimed that word. And instead of using the ER letters, they used the A letter. That's how I've mainly learned about the black culture. Now, Matt Walsh says something very racist about what would happen if slavery didn't exist on the entire planet. Fair warning, it's a horrible take, a racist take. Actually, what we can say is that we'd all end up worse, all of us today would be in a worse spot if uh, slavery never existed at all across the entire globe. Nope. All of us today wouldn't be in a worse spot if slavery never existed in the first place. In fact, there would be no slavery in the 1700s to the 1800s all around the globe. We would be better off without white people forcing black people to do a white man's dirty ass work. Because a change that significant would likely shift the course of events in a way that would mean none of us would even exist. It would be a world full of other people who are not us. A uh, change that's significant would likely mean that we all would still exist today. So if we had a time machine in 30 to 50 years down the line, we could change that course of history and stop that racism of slavery from happening. Which also means that any of us would exist today about slavery, especially white people. 
So I know that I benefit today from virtually everything my ancestors did and everything did to them, because if any of that had not happened, there's a very good chance that I never would have come into being. And as I see it, I benefit from being if the other option is not being. If your white ancestors never tortured the lives of black people to force them into hard labor back in the 1700s and the 1800s in the first place, you would still come into being a male in, a, in existence today, as will I. If you're a white person and you're trying so desperately to be holier than thou, as a justified means to say that white people should say the N word hard R, don't. And of course, you won't catch black people uh, saying the N word hard R because they obviously won't. Also, if you are white and you say the slang n word which is nigga then and you ain't black. black so don't say the n word moreover if your twitter account gets hacked by saying the n word and if you say the n word because you're not hacked you are still racist and if you've said that without slavery black people would be in a worse spot you're still racist. 